in today's show, we're taking a look from McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, Cyborg Superman. Stay tuned. back guys welcome back i am your host red and we're doing another monster figure or weird figure and before i begin thank you to all of you guys who have subscribed to the channel thank you for making the channel grow i am very humbled by the viewership the chance that you guys have given my channel like i said before and i said it uh often there's a lot of channels doing the same thing so what does one bring to the table i don't know because we're all doing the same thing like i said what i want to separate myself from all those other channels is to actually get down to the nitty-gritty of doing stop motion and that's where we're at right now to get the ball rolling with that said you guys know that this channel has dedicated itself to doing batman figures i'm not a big superman figure unless it's like an alternative looking superman that really blows my mind away and this one man i just love the man of steel being a villain and i love the way this one looks before we begin let's get down to the housekeeping i'm not putting the stand together guys you've been with me three years you know what a stand looks like i'm not putting the flight stand but we're going to touch on that in a few minutes we're going to look at the artwork of the card that McFarlane was nice enough to include. And if you guys take a moment, you can read the back. All right, let's move it along. But before I begin, before I start hurting people's feelings, the first thing I want to say, that's pretty much it for the housekeeping. McFarlane is just too damn lazy to give us an extra fist. Maybe, you know, like the artwork that the hand opens up and lasers are coming out or shooting out. No, we don't get any of that. Us peasants do not get any of that. And don't get me started about peasants because if you guys take a look at the Batman Forever, Batman's, uh, the stealth suit, I think it's called, or whatever, the Sonic suit, whatever that thing is called, if you don't buy the six pack, you don't get the accurate painting. But if you, you're a peasant and you spend 20 bucks on it, which comes with the build a figure bat, you get that brown cow. Don't get me wrong, guys. I've always said, paint it yourself. Stop complaining. But at the same time, I have to say, I was looking forward to getting that Batman and that suit. That's one of my favorite suits. Oh, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. But enough of that. Let's jump on the soup right here. And looking at Superman, it's just look at the horrific. And when I say horrific, guys, look at the details of this Superman. Just nightmare fuel right here. And... <laughs> I see all the comments the clowns make. Oh, I wish I had the original Cyber Superman. I wish I had... Guys, look at that claw. The only... Again, this is laziness. This could have been articulated, but McFarlane chose not to. We could have got an extra hand for that. Now, when I did take it out of the packaging, it fell apart. Uh, so the packaging is always a pain, but it is very loose in some areas. I'm just going to take them off camera so you guys can see them better. There is a beautifully done dark wash all over him. You can see it in between the blues. You can see the tattered cape. It's just spectacular, man. This is by far one of my favorite Supermans besides the Injustice uh, Superman suit, which I love. And I need to do a uh, video on that one. But given that it's October, I'm just focusing on these horror ones. and. There's not much to this video, guys, so it'll probably be short. Let's go ahead with the articulation. We see that the head does go side to side, and, you know, it goes up and down in case you want to, you know, fly them. You do get that much of a reach, but it, 
It is on a ball joint, which came off and had to pop the guy back in. You get that much of a crunch. No obstruction in the arms. This one's got like those spikes like Batman. So, And there is a red one out there, but I'm not planning on getting that. I've got two of these guys, and that's enough for me. And, and the fact that they articulate so well, whoever is animating or doing animations, you've got yourself a beautiful villain. Now, I took them off camera so I can at least do the knee bent, but this is how much you can get them like that. One of the details that I love is that uh, besides the double jointed knees, you get the toe articulation. The toe work is similar to the um, Brainiac uh, armored one, not the Injustice one, but the armored one that came in with the punch page punchers on there. Um, you do get some bicep swivels, guys. Look at that there. You do get that in there. Um, double jointed and it is on that ball joint that I can't stand. The uh, mechanical arm, which, well, he's all mechanical and stuff, uh, has that, has the joints here. Is it double jointed as well? No, it's just single jointed. And you can definitely move that here and there. Absolutely phenomenal figure. Absolutely wonderful figure for anybody doing any kind of horror or, you know, Something to the effect, like I watch a lot of uh, Banimation films, and he's got that whole universe that's all mixed up, and I can't wait for like the next episodes, which I love uh, on there. And I hope he includes this guy in there on his next story arc. Uh, he's definitely uh, took advantage of all these world buildings that he did with his action figures. Sorry, guys. For some reason, I am having trouble getting him to stand, and it just gets on my nerves. There you go. Anyways, so looking at the figure overall, I'm really pleased with him. I really love everything about this figure. Love what McFarlane did capturing this one guy. He did capture all the reign of Superman, unless I'm missing one. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments. I did see that movie. But overall, oops, I know you guys love those bloopers. Overall, I love it. I like this figure. I, I love the horror figures, and McFarlane is no stranger to that. He definitely loves doing that. So let me know in the comments, guys, what you guys think. This is something you're going to pick up. Is this something you're going to love for your collection? Let's have a conversation. Let's talk about that. So with that said, guys, share, like the video. Uh, you know, thank you so much for subscribing and giving me a chance. I have definitely been enjoying that. I know I haven't been doing a lot of reviews, but I'm just going to do it, but I am, like I said, very dialed back on it. Uh, I want to uh, stray away from the pack. So with that said, guys, me and the Cyborg, we're done. There's no more reviews, so we are out.